master cylinder is off the car again um, because what I found out is that you need to bleed the master cylinder off the car, you need to bench bleed it before fitting it to the car otherwise you get air bubbles trapped because of the, the way it tips up slightly you get air bubbles trapped in the end of the master cylinder so what we're going to do now is we're just going to um, try and bench bleed this um, and see see how we get on I was going to use um, the old brake pipe for this I cut a piece off with the intention of, of sticking a tube on the end of that I couldn't find a tube that fitted um, a clear tube um, but happily I've got an old brake bleeding kit which appears to fit reasonably well so we're going to try and use that to bleed this through I'm going to be using a silicon based uh, brake fluid for the clutch and for the brakes when I get around to doing them because um, hopefully that doesn't have to be changed or certainly not as often and it doesn't damage your paintwork like the old one did it, uh, it did rather mess up my paintwork <clears throat> so always the first challenge is to get into the packaging so it's a dot 5 fluid what I'm going to do is just top up the reservoir Turn pipe into there, activate the piston. There we go, and all the air bubbles come up the line. And I've got my reservoir as the highest point at the moment. Doesn't matter if you overfill it, because it's going to be air coming back up. So at this stage, that doesn't really matter. Time. Oop. I haven't clamped it that hard in the vice because I don't want to damage the brackets that I've already repainted. Okay, so I am now just getting clear fluid through there. What we're going to do is alter the angle just in the hopes that if there's any bubbles in this top piece here, that they will now come out. Because we don't want no air in the system. Probably got just a little bit too much fluid in there because it's overflowing, it's stopping me from tipping it up. So I'm going to pop some bleeds and through back into the bottle. <coughs> right, so let's tip him up. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing coming through now there. So I think that's adequately bled now, there's no air coming back through that at all, whatever angle I hold it at. So hopefully that's bled, fingers crossed. So I'll go back, remount this on the car um, and then we'll uh, hopefully be sorted. Um, we need to bleed through the rest of the system then um, tomorrow which I shall require an assistance.